Hello and welcome to the HVAC Diaries. Today is Saturday, August 6th, and this is my weekly HVAC vlog. My name is Jessica, and I live and work and play in a suburb of Vancouver, BC, Canada. And I work for my family's business, Cam Cool Refrigeration, where my dad and my brother are teaching me how to be a commercial and light industrial refrigeration mechanic technician. How do you guys like my Centrotherm shirt? Isn't it so bright and awesome and cheerful and summery? I love it. The heat wave in Vancouver ended on Tuesday, but we still had a really awesome busy week of service calls. found a lot of fuzzy blankets on condenser coils. And you guys, these blankets are all over the place. They're everywhere but we usually find them in the summertime because equipment is just like, all right, that's it. I'm not working anymore until someone gets this blanket off of me. I <laughs> uh, also had a few fights with some filters that are just inaccessible. I don't know why people install systems in certain ways. We had a couple of calls to some catering trucks that we service. These are like fully mobile commercial kitchens. They have walk-in coolers on them with full systems. Obviously the evaporator is on the inside. The condensing unit is usually under the belly of the truck in some kind of metal frame. And they're honestly great for us because they're on the move all the time. And a lot of the time they go to um, like movie locations that are in rural areas, they're literally on a dirt road in the bush. And so things are bouncing and vibrating all the time connections become loose and so it's great for us we get to work on these wicked little trucks and also we get to go onto movie sets which sounds very glamorous and exciting but it's really not it's it's not <laughs> we had to go to our least favorite place ever which is a Tim Hortons in downtown Vancouver And I said as much on Instagram, I literally said, I hate working here. And I got a bit of flack for that. Some, some people were like, what if they see that? And they like, they fire you as a, like a, as a service provider. And I'm like, honestly, that kind of sounds amazing to me. <laughs> it sucks working there for a couple of reasons. One, it's, it's so busy. It's in the middle of downtown Vancouver. There's people there all the time. And the staff there, they, they just have to do their job. 
and we are usually in the middle of everything. Like we're either on the floor or we've got to set up a ladder in the middle of everything and people always have to get around you or oh can you just move so I can grab the frozen whatever's and then you gotta like pack up all your tools or move them out of the way, move the ladder out of the way so they can get their little box. They're just doing their job. I understand that. I, I came down the ladder at one point to look right at a guy smoking crack outside of the window. Like this is just what we deal with. And then the second reason we hate it is because it feels like every time we work there, something has been added into the ceiling space, some kind of mechanical thing. So when we have to replace a filter, like it's a single one inch filter, we have to get through this maze of like piping and conduit and wires and cables and at the same time is watching out for the, all the people walking around the ladder and everything. Oh my goodness, it's such, such a nightmare. But luckily there, it was just a, a faulty condensate pump. C condensate pump? So we replaced that really quickly and we got out of there really fast. We don't work in residential very often, but when we do, I just love it when they have pets. I got to see this little corgi, so cute and fluffy. And then this little black kitty, which was just so lovey and friendly and... Hi, baby. <laughs> I kind of spent a little bit too much time with it because no one was home. They gave me the keys to the condo and just kind of said lock up when you're done. And oh my gosh, I played with this little kitty for so long. He was the sweetest thing. Hi, boy. Hi. And I would say the most exciting job of the week was... Replacing this TXV, I brought the old one for show and tell. This is a TXV, a thermostatic expansion valve, which is basically your metering device that goes into the evaporator. So this kind of all attaches. It's got the sensing bulb that's filled with the same kind of refrigerant that's in the system. So in this case, it's an R410A. Um, this sits on the suction, bowl, the suction line and basically tells the metering device to, you know, give more refrigerant or give less refrigerant. Um, my dad diagnosed this to be faulty and one of his tricks again, whenever he diagnoses a part like this and he pulls it out, he always tests it to make sure that he's diagnosed it properly. And he does that by blowing through it, which I've been advised by somebody on here not to do that. But when I see him blow through it, I'm just like, maybe that's what I should be doing. I'm thinking of blowing through it, but I'm not going to do it here on video for you. Anyway, what is cool is that I wear a TXV around my neck all the time. This is my TXV pendant. Ooh, I got it from a guy on Instagram. He's got this thing, this little Etsy company called Donovan's Custom... Custom Creations? Donovan's Customs? Anyway, he makes HVAC jewelry. And he's got such cool stuff. He's got a little reversing valve and a king piston. And this TXV, which I freaking love. Anyway, I wear that all the time. And when I was showing the homeowner the what we were doing, I was like, oh, look at, look at my pendant. <laughs> Luckily, we found one of these locally and we could replace it right away. Well, guys, that's all I have for you this week. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of the HVAC Diaries HVAC blog. I hope you guys had a fantastic week as well. 
um, and are enjoying the weekend. I will not be here next week. I don't th- plan on not being here next week because we're doing a little mini getaway for the weekend and I just don't think I'm going to have time to record and edit and put everything together. Unless I do something really exciting this week, then I'm just going to have to find the time to do it. But I may not see you next week. So if I don't, I will see you the following week. Have a great one, you guys. Thanks again for tuning in. And I'm excited to see you guys again soon.